We've got a lot of catching up to do. I went to Phoenix. I wish you could have it was a quick in and out trip. It was nice to get someplace warm after a long winter. Check out this sunset hyperlapse. I got stuck in a snowstorm at PDX. I got these cool shots. There's this really cool waterfall in the Columbia River Gorge. If you know what it is, let me know. Oh, I accidentally went to Austin during South by Southwest. <laughs> While I was in Austin, this giant thunderstorm rolled in. I took the opportunity to do some lightning photography. Not bad for my first time. This next photo is my favorite of the bunch. I really like the reflection off the water in the urban landscape. Hey there, Internet. Today we are at Spokane Falls, checking out some of the architecture and the natural scenery. Where are we? Spokane at uh, Spokane Falls. This is a pretty good view, huh, Julius? Yeah. This old van is pretty cool. I think it was a GMC. We are at a ski resort. What's it called? Uh, I don't know. It's called Schweitzer. <laughs> Where are we, Animal? All right, kids, let's go over over here. Not until we get over here. Oh, and we also have to I guess. Yeah. Yep, they're in your pocket. Because we're going to go on that. Yep, that's right. Oh, my God, it's just snowing. I told the kids I was taking them to the Statue of Liberty. I couldn't sneak this one past them. Hey, let's get back to our current journey. I took this photo on a previous trip to LA. I thought it was pretty cool. Hey everyone, made it up here to the observatory. Got a gorgeous view of uh, downtown and the nature preserve here. Parking's full, have to walk up, up there, right up here. So I gotta hike up there, uh, and then somewhere around here, there's supposed to be a sign that says Hollywood. So, all right, here we go. Well, I just learned something important. I don't light the Hollywood sign at night. probably have a different lens probably my kit lens at least because uh yeah you can't see it and the iso doesn't make up for it and uh 
it's not that fantastic of a shot. So, if anybody's paying attention, coming to the Hollywood sign to uh, photograph it, don't bring a landscape lens to photograph it and come while it's still daylight out. Okay, I'm gonna go find something else to do. Well, they don't want you going this way to go check out the sign, so gotta figure it out. All right, well, uh, going to the Hollywood sign was a bust, but I found Hollywood Boulevard, and I'm gonna see what's going on down here. There's a lot of people standing in line for something over there. It's also ambulance coming behind me. I made it down here to uh, the Hollywood Walk of Fame and I am just taking a picture of the streetscape waiting for the green light to go so that I can uh, push the shutter release and make it happen. Here goes the green light. What do we get? That's cool. Found Mark Wahlberg's star. <laughs> cool. Alright, well here it is. Uh, I'm down in LA at the uh, LAX airport and I found this awesome spot with jets flying over uh, trying to capture a photo of uh, see if I can get a 747 I just missed a Korean Air flying in uh, but yeah I'll photograph a jet coming in and see what turns out all right I hey I parked the car um, wasn't any really good street parking for me to get parked, but I'm getting close to uh, the point where the flight path crosses over the road that I'm on. I'm on airport, airport road, airport way, and uh, right where Avis car return is. And uh, I'll give you the exact location here in a minute. But uh, walking over there, looks like I can get some good palm trees and an airplane in a photo. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm moving views. Try and get some of these palm trees in here. So we'll try it right here. All right, these uh, trees right here, they provide really good perspective uh, and they, they make the plane look a lot bigger. So uh, I'll try a couple more shots here. All right, I think we got a couple more minutes. The last one, what came in within the last minute. I got two planes coming in. Let's see what we can get. Is dying. Time's 
All right, that's it. Full card, dead battery. So, I ran out of card, ran out of battery, so I need to go charge and uh, remove some photos from the card. Uh, I did run into some gentlemen that uh, pointed me to another spot. It's over by the in and out Burger, the end of the runway. So, uh, probably go check that out, see, see what kind of uh, photos I can take from over there. Hey internet, it's a new day and I'm finally getting around to going over to the uh, the landing spot over by the airport to uh, take a few photos of some planes coming in. Uh, I saw this uh, 747 that's uh, taxiing in uh, on the uh, FlightAware app and I missed it, but I, it was probably coming to the, the wrong runway for the, those photo spots, but uh, got two 747 cargos parked right there. It's pretty cool. All right on the way over to the landing spot. All right, we're driving back over near where I was taking photos the other day. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today. Just got some down taking some uh, hyperlapse and um, some photos from one of the high floors in the hotel I'm staying at. But absolutely gorgeous day today. The temperature is 65 and it's a bluebird sky. I'm in the region that I was told to go to, but uh, I think I think I'm in the wrong spot. <clears throat> Not quite sure where to go, but that's my view from there. Not that great, um, but we do got some planes coming in, and uh, up here at the In and Out Burger, there's a lot of uh, a lot of cars, a lot of people watching, and it's right right where the planes come in right over the road to land on the runway. I'm starting to run out of time, thinking I might have to uh, check, check on time and see what I can do. All right, let's keep on trying. I guess the in and out right there is the place to watch from because uh, they come in from right here. I'm uh, officially running out of time. I gotta get the rental car back. And uh, I'm just gonna have to do it next week. And when I come back, I'll bring the, uh, the kit lens. So, got the fuel in. Oh, 30 bucks for, oh, there it finally started. 30 bucks for a quarter tank of gas. Look at this new rental center that's being built right here with the uh, public transit going straight to the airport. That's gonna be some nice infrastructure when it's done. <laughs> 